Hey, my mom's channel, Eat Your Philly Phil. I wonder what she's cooking in the kitchen today. Mom, what are you cooking? What's up, everybody? How y'all doing on this Thirsty Thursday? Okay, so I am having a Burger King car mug bang. What I did, I got the two meals for ten dollars. Uh, I had to take my mom shopping, so she got the Whopper and I got the chicken sandwich. Two for ten dollars, and I got me a uh, Dr Pepper, and I got some fries. They put a onion ring in here by mistake. I will definitely try it. I got ketchup and I asked for a, a ranch to go with it. I like to dip my fries in ranch. Anybody else like to do that? So I haven't had Burger King in a while. I asked for some pepper. I like to put pepper on my fries. So let me sprinkle some of that on here real quick. What y'all doing? What's up? What's going on, everybody? How you doing? How you doing? How you living? Give me some ketchup. I want ketchup on my fries too. Put it on the side of the box. You know, where I can dip the fries in it. Oh yeah. That's what we doing, that's what we doing. Give me some napkins. Okay, may not be the best view here, but we are gonna make it do what it do. Okay. Father, bless this food that we're about to receive for the nursing of our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Here's my Burger King chicken sandwich. The two for $10 meal. So, that's what it looks like. Okay. All right, Burger King, what you working with? Hmm. okay kind of cooled down a little bit they made it fresh it was really hot dip this in the ranch so what are y'all eating today mm. this is a quick little lunch thought I'd do a car mukbang Ooh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have a bite. Can y'all see it for the sun? It tastes okay. Maybe it's better when it's super hot. But I didn't eat any breakfast, so it'll do. Mm. So we, I was supposed to be going out of town, but don't look like I'm going to be able to do that. I sure hate it. Mm, 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 mm. But I don't know. I'm still working on something. Who knows? You never know about Philly Bill. Thank y'all for stopping by the workout zone this morning. I appreciate it. The workout zone need love too, okay? Mmm. <laughs> Fries are good when you dip them in ranch. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. Nobody's fries are better than McDonald's when they're super fresh. I love McDonald's fries now. I'll never quit eating those. This chicken sandwich really not doing it for me.
I want to try to make this at least a 15 minute video. Why well, say make the videos 15 minutes? Baby. Um. Since so it was. <laughs> Cause I can. Why you buying that new furniture, Sin City? Because I can. Why you getting a new car, Sin City? Because I can. And she looked at Walt like. Walt said, oh, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> mm. hmm. I love me some Sin City. She going to keep it real. If you get her started, she will go off. That's big facts. Oh, Mary had a little lamb. We've seen it. But, hmm, wasn't nothing mm, like the, um, the verbiage or that Heidi used against Asia. What? How did it get there? How how did they get to that point? Mm. This patty tastes like one of those generic patties. Anyway, I'm going to keep eating it. But, I mean, y'all. Heidi said so much funny shit in that video. <laughs> and Adrian, I know I talked about this a little yesterday. I had not seen her video, but she was saying, you know how Adrian talk, bitch, with your narrow ass. Uh, you don't want none. Because <laughs> Heidi is very thin, and Adrian, you know, so Heidi had a name. She was calling her Sasquatch or something. I don't know, but she said, Heidi said, I will grab your braids and swing around your neck until I damn near kill myself. <laughs> oh, look, that was funny as hell to me. Because I pictured her when she said that grabbing her braids she said, and jumping up and swinging around her neck. But honey, she got on the, she was on her live. She called Spirit Airlines. I don't know about one fly spirit. El Hinge said he was on a spirit flight and it was shaking, baby. When they landed, he told her to let him the hell off. I don't want to fly, period. But I, if I'm going to fly, damn, I don't want to fly spirit. But she called the Spirit Airlines while the live was going on trying to book a flight she said book a return but Adrian you know moved to Fort Lauderdale honey she saying she was going to fly her there to the ATL Pay for her flight. So they can get it on. YouTube. You know, I understand. Some people can piss you off some damn time. I ain't trying to run up on nobody, though. Don't nobody need to try to run up on me. So I understand. <clears throat> understand. People get to talking shit about you calling your names 18 times. You know what I mean? And then people want to holler. People bringing up something that happened a long time ago. I don't give a damn how long ago it happened. You still said it. You know what I mean? I mean you talked about me. I'm just saying. You talk about somebody like a dog, they may not have time to get around to it a month until a month later. And then when they do, 
they may be talking about something or whatever and it refreshes their memory again of what you said and they want to talk about it again so I don't know how long that's been going on with Adrian and <laughs> I mean cause first I knew they was just doing the reaction videos but she said she was <laughs> swing around her neck and y'all know how high to talk and Adrian too, Adrian be talking shit now and you know Adrian was like check my mug shot cause you know she been you know locked up before whatever it's she told her story so it's not like I'm doxing her and I'm not gonna go try to find no mug shots of her because that's a form of doxing but some people would love to do that you know what I mean but yeah people kill me talking about don't bring up nothing or they don't want to talk about nothing that happened a month ago or I don't give a damn when it happened you should not have done it or said it you still did it you still messy as fuck I want to portray like they so nice and they don't have time for that when you started this gangster shit you started it you drew first blood ain't no band-aid going on it till I get ready to put one on it I'm just saying if it's something about me, I can talk about something about me whenever I feel like it. I mean, you guys, let me know what you think. Am I doing too much if I bring up something? Some people might be, you know, I know some of my family and, and supporters might be like, yeah, you know, just let it go or whatever. I have let it go. I'm not trying to run up on nobody, but I want to remind people what happened. I'm not gonna ever let anyone forget what was done or said, or how they tried to dox me and my brother, asking people to come on their show and talk to them. I ain't gonna forget it. And I don't need no damn therapy either. <laughs> Oh my goodness, people are so funny. But it just amazes me how Trump like some people really are in real life. They conveniently forget the things they've done and said. You know, it could be wrong in their eyes or not wrong. But don't get mad if somebody wants to talk about it. You should not have said anything about it. And that could go for Adrian as well. You know, I don't know what she said about Heidi or what Heidi said about her. But they each have a right to keep talking about it if they want to. <laughs> or they could fly up and meet up if they want to. <laughs> now that's funny. I don't think they would ever do that, but you know. That was a funny live. I listened the whole time. It was entertaining. And at the end of the day, this is all for entertainment purposes only. That's what we want. No violence. We want to entertain. Some people might like the way we put together our videos speaking for myself some of you may not so all I can do is ask that you like comment subscribe and share okay mm. let me eat this onion ring It's definitely processed meat. I do not eat, I rarely eat Burger King, McDonald's, and Wendy's and stuff. 
I just don't. My daughter asked if she doesn't. They like Chick-fil-A. When they were younger, they used to love the McDonald's hotcakes. Those pancakes. I never liked them. But I would get them every morning for my kids. The hotcakes and sausage or either those um McGriddle sandwiches. Rico liked the McGriddles. And then every day after school when I picked them up, go to McDonald's and get the, the, the cheeseburger and the fries and the $1 drink. Mm -hmm. Then I would still have to cook. That was the snack. Because Rico would keep his money that I would give him and wouldn't buy any lunch because he wanted to just save his money. And then he would be starving when I picked him up. He was very conservative, even at a very young age. <laughs> He's still that way. <laughs> oh, goodness. But that's a good thing. He very conservative with his coins, honey. All right, y'all. Um, thank y'all for watching. I'm not going to read any comments. This is a quick car mukbang, Burger King car mukbang. I got my 15 minutes in. All right. You know. Your girl will be back with another video real soon. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. And watch all my videos. The reaction videos, the ones where me and my family just chop it up, and the workout videos. Join me in the workout zone too, Saturday morning. All right, 10 o'clock. See y'all later.